I'm Brigitte Dixon. I'm a potter here in uh, Burnsville, Minnesota. And my work, my pots, are not your traditional wheel thrown pottery that people are used to. So when I do shows, people come up and go, how, how do you make that? What, what's the deal here? So this video is just a quickie demonstration of my technique. I have this beautiful red clay and I'm going to form it into a slab. I'm rolling it out and I use these dowels, they're 3 16th inch dowel, to give an even surface. Once I've got the slab rolled out, I trim it to size. Using a rib, I smooth it, flip it over so I can smooth the other side. This helps get rid of any air bubbles, which prepares the surface for the slip that I'm going to use. This white moist surface gives a place for the colorants to adhere to. What I have here is a powdered colorant that's uh, manufactured. This happens to be mason stain. It's avocado. This is fawn. We just sift it basically. It's, a lot of this is like making a cake. And this is a random sort of controlled chaos that I like about this whole process. And see, I can kind of determine where this stuff hits. Yeah, that's good. Ta-da! Okay, the next step is this kind of wadded up piece of newspaper. I like the wrinkles in the paper. We're going to put this down. And roll it a little bit. It smushes the powders into the wet slip. It causes some random little cracks in the slip and it helps dry it for the next stage. I put this aside and let this uh, firm up a little. Here's a slab I prepared earlier and I'm taking the paper off. Okay, I have uh, some little texture stamps that I made, found objects. Uh, my favorite are the sheets that they sell to for cake decorating. And I'm going to I just put this sheet down. I think we're just going to do some random stuff here and see what happens. I'm going to put this thing down. I'll take my little roller and smoosh it on there. Invade that other space. Just some stamping, some texture. This is actually my favorite part. I get to play. Check the size and trim it to square. Here I have a, I'm going to cut a bevel on this side. Flip it over. So I can cut a bevel on the other side. I use this rib to score the edge and brush it with magic water. I score the second edge. and then retexture in the places that I flattened. What I want to do now is try to figure out what I've got. I like I like this seam, I think. 
this little shape. This repeats here. So this is going to be the focal point of my pot. And I have a slab that I prepared earlier that's going to be the bottom. Let's move this baby out. Trace out the bottom here. And trim the clay. Smooth it a little bit, and there's my stamp. I want to score the bottom of the pot and the bottom of the cylinder and moisten. Now joining the two pieces, it's important that there's a good join. Don't want a leaky bowl. Smooth the bottom, create a nice little edge for a foot, and fiddle around with the top, see what I like. Ta-da!